is a little different. I'm going to be working on a Coyote truck. It's a 2017 model. Uh, currently, it's got FIC 1000 injectors in it. Got a little nitrous kit down there also. I'll be pulling the injectors out, putting some LU 47s in it, and then uh, adjusting the tune. Just trying to blow out any dust or debris that's down there around the injectors. Also, it's going to be getting new plugs in it. Just blow out any trash that's around those also. Sorry about the background noise, the uh, yard crews at the neighbor's house. I'm going to start with taking off the uh, cold air kit just to get it out of the way. And I'll start popping out spark plugs. And then last, I'll do the injectors. All right, I'm also going to be removing the nitrous kit. It's got a wet kit on it. I don't know what it's pilled for, but we'll find out once I take it all off. All right, I pulled off this connector here, flipped those hoses up over there, disconnected the booster. I'm going to pop out these eight millimeters here. You also have these little white clips. You just pop them up. And then pinch the back. They come right out. All right, I got the plugs out. And uh, yeah, I can see why he says he drives around and sometimes it has a miss. All these plugs are pretty dark, been running rich. These uh, FIC 1000 injectors are way too big for 93 octane. But I got the identical plugs to put back in. I'm going to start that now. That's all it is for the driver side. Uh, it's pretty easy. Make sure all your clips are back locked into place for your injectors and your coils. I'm gonna do the passenger side, see what those plugs look like. Here's the passenger side. They look almost identical to the driver's side. So you can definitely see why it was running rough. All right, now it's time to swap the injectors. It's just four bolts to hold the fuel right back. So swap your fuel rails on a Gen 2. You have these little clips that locate the injector for the spray pattern. You just pop that clip off. Wiggle the injector out and spray some gas on yourself. A little bit of grease on the O-rings. And gently push the injector back in. You don't want to uh, tear the O-ring. Then this clip got a line inside of the body of the injector that it lines up with and now they're locked back in and that's it okay I got the fuel rail back on it's only held in with the four bolts you just put the fuel rail down into the intake and it'll pop into place and then the factory fuel line slides in and locks into place. There's no longer the uh, nitrous T there for the wet kit. All right, just be sure to plug in all your injectors on both sides. The coils are all plugged in. All the white tabs are pushed down and locked into place. I'm gonna put the uh, PMAS cold air back on it and uh, load in a tune file. This is the injector data you're gonna need to make the truck run. I'm using the template applicator. So you just come over here, hit apply changes. And scalers and tables were all swapped. Everything looks good. Now it's time to plug it in and load the file up. You can see there what was changed. That's all it is to swap the injector data on these trucks. 
uh, it'll fire right up after this.